I would like to welcome you to the 2021 Texas Academy of Science field trip. Unfortunately, this year we cannot have a field trip that is face to face and the entire meeting is virtual. A group of us at Stephen F. Austin State University felt that a good way to handle this situation would be to provide a virtual field trip for anybody who wanted to come and take this field trip and collect some fossils and enjoy looking at some of the stratigraphy and some of the geology west of Fort Worth. This is our first stop, which is at Benbrook Park, south of the community of Benbrook, and the name of the park is Dutch Branch Park. Behind me are exposures of the Goodall limestone, which is a lower Cretaceous limestone that is dipping gently toward the east. To my left are exposures of the walnut shale and walnut formation, which are in the creek. At the top of the hill, we have the Kayamichi shale that is present here. In this exposure, there are excellent fossils uh, there are lots of fossils to collect. The trophy here is basically fairly large ammonites that are found within the slope. You also have a large number of bivalves that are present here of varying types. And you have also sand dollars and brittle stars that you find pieces of or whole fossils of. At this point, we would like to let you go and collect. Remember that you're collecting out of a limestone, which in this case is a mudstone to grainstone that contains lots of fossil fragments. So with this, I will leave you to collect this location. I would like to welcome you to Moss Park in Northwest Fort Worth. At this location, we are going to go and look at the lower part of the walnut formation. We are then going to climb down over the cliff and look at the Luxy sand, which is well exposed in the vertical cliff between the top of the point behind me and the lake. With that, we're now going to move to look at the oyster biohern. Welcome to Boss Point on the northwest side of Fort Worth. Here at Boss Point, the surface that the park is built in is at the top of oyster beds within the walnut formation. I am sitting on these beautiful oyster beds. These oyster beds contain almost 100% graphia. There are lots of other little fossils that are in here, but the majority of them are graphia. And these beds form, are well cemented to form the cliff that allows Boss Point to be a beautiful observation point. The rock type here could be considered a coquina by some, but in reality it is probably a fossiliferous packstone to mudstone because of the, um, a small amount of clay that is within the oyster beds themselves. We are now going to proceed down to the base of this cliff and look at the Paluxy. As you go through and look at the oyster beds, you may desire to collect some of the oysters that are within the base of the walnut formation that I'm sitting on. All you have to do is look at the rock and you can see the large number of oysters that are present here or the large number of graphia that are present in these beds. So now we will proceed down to the level of the lake. We are now at the base of the major cliff. At the top of the cliff is the walnut shale, which has oyster beds that make a cliff, a vertical cliff and balls of limestone. We then have a transitional shale unit. We then have a mass of sand, and then we have thin beds here at the base. This is a very good section to get a feeling for what the Paluxy sand in this area looks like. Note the mixture of Cretaceous fossils and modern bios in the sediment at the shore. Our 
next stop, which we are at now, is in the Paluxy Sand. The Paluxy Sand represents the lowest unit in the Cretaceous of Central Texas. It represents the initial transgression of the Cretaceous Sea across, the, across Texas, depositing the sand deposits on lenses and in bars, representing a transgressive shoreline system. This is a very interesting place to stop and look at the types of sedimentary structures and other things that are in the Pelexi sand. Pelexi sand here contains some, some thin beds, it contains thicker beds, it contains lens shaped deposits that are concave up and concave down. Our next stop is a very interesting stop. It represents the Minga Shell which is the oldest unit that we have in the strong group of Pennsylvanian age here near Mineral Wells, east of Mineral Wells. The strong group is typically represented by co-delta shales that were deposited out in front of the Brazos River sands, the Brazos River Delta complex that developed during the Pennsylvanian period. These co-delta clays were very extensive out in front of the delta complexes that were developing off the Ouachita orogeny. Between our last stop and this location, we've crossed the Cretaceous Pennsylvanian boundary, which represents a major disconformity. Our next stop represents the Brazos River Formation, which is the massive sandstone at the top of the cliff. Below the Brazos River Formation is the Mingus Formation that we saw at our last stop. This sequence represents the progradation of a delta out over Pro Delta clays. We are now in the a little bit above the Mingus Shale where we were at our last stop in the Strawn Group. This is an excellent place to look at the sandstones. Well, we finally reached our final stop the Mineral Wells Fossil Park here west of Mineral Wells. This is one of the premier collecting localities from the Pennsylvania in this part of Texas. Everyone likes to come to the Mineral Wells Fossil Park and collect these beautiful fossils out of the Mineral Wells Formation which is exposed in the banks of this old uh, landfill which they have left open and allow people to come in and collect. You can find everything from vertebrate fossils, brachiopods, bivalves, a few coral, a few lots of different variety of fossils that you have in here. Uh, there are beautiful uh, crinoids, principally crinoid columnals. Well, I will leave you at this point to go and collect and see what kind of treasures you can find from the Mineral Wells Formation here in Mineral Wells uh, Fossil Park. I hope you've enjoyed our field trip and you will come to the next year next year to our field trip wherever it may be.